Hi girls, today I will review baby food from the most popular baby food brand Gerber. I will show you which Gerber products I buy for my baby and which ones I avoid and why. And if you're new here, my name is Karina. I am a mom to 11 months old baby girl. Here on my channel, I make videos on motherhood, pregnancy, natural birth and breastfeeding topics every single week to help you girls be confident mamas. If this sounds interesting to you, consider subscribing and let's get into this video. So if you have been watching my channel, you know that I feed my baby homemade food 90% of the time, but she's also getting some store-bought baby snacks pretty much every day and there were times when I had to feed her store-bought baby food for a few days and that happened during the hurricane evacuation and during a couple of trips we took. I personally believe that homemade food should be the main part of baby's diet because there is just nothing better than a freshly cooked meal from whole and clean foods. So when I go to the store to buy baby food, I try to find something with the cleanest, the best quality ingredients. And Gerber, I think, has the biggest variety of baby foods on the market. They got snacks, cereals, yogurts, baby pouches, ready meals, and stage one and two baby parades, of course. So let's take a look at this. There is a huge variety of the stage one baby foods here and essentially it should be either one fruit or one vegetable, but they add some water and ascorbic acid to it. Is it perfect? No. Some brands add lemon juice concentrate as a preservative, if anything at all, and I think it's better. They are also not organic and they come in plastic containers. Although Gerber has some organic versions of these stage one baby foods and they come in glass jars, which I prefer. They still use ascorbic acid, but here you can also see the lemon juice concentrate. It's organic, obviously, and it's so important when it comes to those most popular ingredients in baby foods like apples, pears and strawberries, since they are in the dirty dozen list which means that the conventional version of this produce is packed with pesticides, even after being cooked. So I would get these organic purees for my baby. I only wish they had a bigger variety of those. Let's check out the stage two Gerber foods. So they have again a huge variety of dinners, cereals and puddings, and some of them are better than others. You got to read the ingredients because look, for example, this rice and chicken dinner has the nasty canola oil in it, while this vegetable and beef one doesn't. About oils, I explained this in my baby snacks review video the other week. So when it comes to those canola, sunflower, soybean, the cheapest oils, even the grapeseed oil, which is not the cheapest one, it has to say expeller pressed. If it does not say expeller pressed, it means that they use a chemical to extract the oil from the seeds and that chemical most certainly stayed in that oil. Moreover, those oils have low smoke points. So when we cook with them and heat them, they produce carcinogenic toxins, unlike the extra virgin olive, coconut or avocado oils. Then I want you to be careful with fruit purees because typically they are high in sugars and sometimes they add extra added sugar, white refined sugar to it. For example, this mango and apple twist, this is a blend of fruit and juice and juice is always high in sugars and they sell them separately and I would not recommend you buying them because all that is left in pasteurized juice is sugar. There is obviously no fiber, unlike in smoothies or fruit purees. When it comes to fruit purees, all you wanna see in there is the fruit that they advertise on the front water, lemon juice, maybe ascorbic acid. That's it. Some brands even manage to have the fruit only. And in this Gerber products, they got concentrates, juices, even the rice flour. I don't think it's the best choice. Look at the organic version of it. Just like I said, fruit, lemon juice, and ascorbic acid. So yeah, even though there are some decent stage two baby foods, they are not organic and it's important for me since beside the fruit and veggies I told you about, they also got chicken and beef, oats and rice in there. Organic is important when it comes to this. Unfortunately, Gerber has no organic versions of those dinners. Also, they don't have any organic poultry or meat. Moreover, all of 
those options, ham, turkey, chicken, beef, all of them got corn starch in there. And guess what? It's made of GMO corn. Man, in baby food, this is horrible. Non-GMO sign is the first thing you need to look for when it comes to corn or soy. Also, organic is always non-GMO. Guys, this is bad. Now let's take a look at cereals. So this Gerber rice cereal is very often the first food babies here in the US get. So what I like about it is that it's non-GMO, which is good because it got some soy in it for some reason. No sugars, no natural flavors, but it's not organic, which I prefer when it comes to rice. And also I'm not very sure about this preservative, potassium phosphate. And you know why? Because Organic versions of Gerber cereals don't have it. The same story with baby oatmeal. I don't like the preservative. I wish it was organic, especially because the organic version of the same product has just one single ingredient, whole grain oat flour. That's all. So if you want to get Gerber cereal, I encourage you to get either this organic oatmeal or the multi-grain organic cereal. It also has only three ingredients as advertised on the front. The not organic multigrain cereal is okay, I think. Also, the oatmeal with banana and probiotic is fine, but there are two cereals from Gerber I will never buy for my baby. It's banana strawberry oatmeal and multigrain with banana apple and strawberry. I think they are bad. This is my opinion, but look, they've got natural flavors and the multigrain one has one teaspoon, over one teaspoon of added white refined sugar for a quarter of a cup serving. This is way too much and I hope you agree with me. About natural flavors, I also talked about it in the baby snacks review video. So basically there is nothing natural about them and they get you hooked to the product. And if you want to know more about natural flavors, I will have the video linked in the description below all about them from the Flav City channel, one of my favorite channels on YouTube. Then Gerber yogurts. Yogurts that don't have to be refrigerated? Very strange for me. They've got a lot of preservatives, a lot of added sugars, natural flavors, canola oil, they've got it all. Won't buy this. Gerber also has a big variety of ready meals for toddlers, which are so disappointing. I won't buy any of them. They've got GMO, sugar, bad oils, natural flavors, and even maltodextrin, which is very nasty preservative. Wow, how do they even put no preservatives on the package? I mean, would this ready meal be shelf stable without preservatives? I don't think so. I also saw those chicken sticks next to those meals and they're obviously bad too. Overall, I only buy a few Gerber products and all of them happen to be organic. Although, don't be blinded by the word organic. Go watch my baby snacks review videos there. I also review Gerber snacks and break down why none of them is good enough. Let me know in the comments below what are your favorite Gerber baby foods and why. And if this video was helpful, please give it a big thumbs up because it helps YouTube algorithm tremendously. And subscribe to my channel for a fresh video every single Thursday. And I want to wish you to have happy and healthy babies. And I'll see you next week. Bye.